토크TV의 PLPSE 영어 공부 시간입니다. 자, 이번 시간은 영어 공부 절차. 즉, 영어 공부하는 방법 순서죠. 자, 시청자 여러분, 네이티브 스피커의 내레이션이 잘 되는지, 혹은 따라 할수 있는지 한번 해 보시죠. 처음 접하는 분들은 따라 듣기가 쉽지가 않죠. 전부 여섯 번을 반복해서 듣는데요. 본문 전체를 따라가기도 만만치 않은데 이해하면서 따라가기는 쉽지가 않죠. 너무 빠르다고 하는 분도 계신데요. 정상적인 걸 소화시키지 못하고 있는 것이라고 보면 돼요. 자, 하지만 여섯 번 정도 반복 듣기를 하면 어느 정도 감이 잡힙니다. 먼저 한글 성경을 읽은 후에 듣기를 하는 것도 하나의 방법이 되죠. 자꾸 반복해서 들으면서 그 미묘함을 찾아가야 합니다. 감사합니다. 토코티브입니다. 2 k o r i n t h s 5 For we know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 2 k o r i n t h s 5 For we know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 2 k o r i n t h s 5 For we know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 2 k o r i n t h s 5 For we know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 2 k o r i n t h s 5 For we know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if in... For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if in... For in this tent we groan, Longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if in for in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if in for in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if in indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked, for while indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked, for while. Indeed, by putting it on, we may not be found naked. For while, indeed, by putting it on, we may not be found naked. For while, indeed, by putting it on, we may not be found naked. For while, for while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. 
He who has prepared us for this very thing is God who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 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 Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. 
we are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh. We regard him thus no longer. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh. We regard him thus no longer. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh. We regard him thus no longer. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh. We regard him thus no longer. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh. We regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. All this is from God, who through Christ 
reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians 5 For we know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling, if indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, 
so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh. We regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God.